Hello students, I was starting this in um, B8 today and they were telling me how helpful it was for them to see me go through the process of making my own graphic novel. So I'm going to record this to show you all in case we don't have time in class or in case you're not in class. So um, here are my papers. Okay, this is my paper about my story. And you can see I filled it out and these are the things I wanted people to know. These are the things that bother me. And then I came up with a story that I was going to tell about my ELD story. So once I decided I wanted to tell my ELD story, then I decided here that where what the parts of the story was. The inciting incident was the principal telling me. And then essential background was that I was a teacher. And rising action is that I was mad when he told me I wasn't going to teach ESL. And then the climax was about the story about the bus. And the following action was when the counselor told me I was going to teach. And then the um, resolution is when I found out I was going to teach. Okay, from this beginning process, you're going to see from the final process, I actually changed it up a little bit. But this is where I started. Okay, so then I go here. Okay, and I just drafted out my 12 pictures. So the first one was going to be, I was hired for to be, I was hired to be a teacher and become an, and get in my ESL endorsement. The second one was the next year they actually brought Mrs. Bullock back so she could teach some ESL. Then my husband got cancer. Then it was the parent night that I planned. Then we're going to go over here and it's reflecting. So I actually decided once I wrote these down, I wanted to switch them. So one was me reflecting on remembering about the bus story. And then the other one was telling my family and then just talking about how sad I was. And then the principal telling me I wasn't going to teach ESL anymore. And then over here, um, yay, he changed his mind. Oh, that's the very end. Then, oh, sorry, I think I did this in wrong order, whatever. Then um, the counselor told me maybe I'd have a chance. Then I was going to tell my students, and then I was going to tell the principal the story, and then yay, he changed his mind. So even from this, you're going to see that a lot of things has even changed. Okay, then I went on the back side of the paper, and I made my plan for where I was going to put in all of these five sensory language things and all of the narrative. This is just for you to plan, okay? So you can see I'm like, I'm going to make students say slang. I'm going to have a metaphor or simile about this. I'm going to have dialogue here. I'm going to talk about sight and taste and touch and smell here. And then I even made plans for all of the extra credit. Okay, so that was my plan. That was my draft. Now here is my final thing. And I will take a picture and show this to you guys. I think one thing that we're going to be struggling with is making sure that the readers can tell the flow of the story. Um, anyhow, I, I, it's hard for me to show this and read it to you, but you can see my first picture was, um, over, where is it, here, it's hard to, it's really hard to do this backwards, you guys. Okay, right here. First story is right here, first of the 12 images is me graduating, okay? You can see there's more to it, but that's basically me graduating and getting my ESL endorsement. Then we go to number two where I get my job, okay? And then number three, it's telling about how Mrs. Bullock came back, but that it was gonna be okay because um, we were gonna share the classes. Then you can see how the arrow right here goes down to number four, because it's in a weird spot. It's still hard to read though. Four is where um, the, we find out about cancer, and then number five is where the principal tells me I'm not gonna be teaching ESL anymore. And then we're going to go over here to six. You can see six is when the parents are coming for parent night. And I'm like, Sprite and nachos and mucho gusto and bienvenidos. And yay, we had the meeting. Even though I just found out I wasn't going to teach ESL, I still went through it. Seven is when I go home and I'm crying. And then eight is where um, I'm talking to my family at dinner. And my kids are like, dude, ESL is so hard. Why do you care? You, you can stay home more. And then nine is when I tell my start telling my kids about the best story. Okay, and then 10 is when I go to the principal and say, hey, will you, can I tell you a story? And then 10 is where I tell the story. And then 11 is where the principal emails me. No, 11 is me making a pledge to always help the Latino population. And then 12, the principal emails me and tells me I'm gonna still be teaching ESL. Okay, there's obviously more than that going on here. If you want to look it up close, I'll have it in class. But apparently this was helpful to B8, so I hope it's helpful to most of you. Okay, bye.